I just realised it was on a different channel. Sorry, <laughs> that should be much better. Ah, you're getting your nails done today. Anything interesting or are you not going to reveal it yet? You'll have to post it in the Discord when you do, when, you, when they are done. You're being a guinea pig. Much better, good, good. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, I'm using Epidemic Sounds today, is what I was saying, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, Effin! And I got an emote thanks to you! Thank you so much. Oh, for some reason it's not coming up on here. Uh, how do I put that back up? Alert box, shit. I didn't add the alert box. I'm so sorry. How are you doing, Effin? How was the pizza in the end? Was it good? Yeah, I used your referral link, Effin. So you should get, I think you get another three months, don't you? Now that I've been referred, thanks to you. Two months, baby. Tasty, it tasted great, but it looked ropey. What do you mean it looked ropey? What does that mean? <laughs> oh hello hands just a bit sad oh i see right we're gonna do two two or three i think of these i'll get it in a second Two or three of these prints. We're gonna do two like just block prints. Hi sausage, how are you doing mate? Two or three today because I think they're gonna take a bit of a while. The first two should be quick but the second one I'm gonna do like a, a repeat pattern or maybe just a different pattern because my tutor told me to just do a block pattern first. I'm good, I'm good, yes. So we need to pick some colours. I've basically got every colour in the rainbow to do the backgrounds. So if anyone's got some good colour combos that they like, let me know. And I'm just going to get laying down some watercolour onto this fabric. So this fabric's called Calico. And it's like, uh, it's kind of like Hessian almost. Oh, Siobhan! Thank you so much. There's so much love right now. And I got an emote as well from you. I got the homework emote. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but yeah, this is Calico. I think it's just cheap. Cheap. I don't know if you can see the grain on it really. Hang on, let's see if that'll focus. It's just like a cheap. Almost like Hessian. Yes! And the emote! The emote! I submitted it last night because I realised I submitted my emotes through something else so if you have the extension downloaded you can use whatever merch you want. Like it doesn't matter if you're a sub or not. Uh, it's called like Better TTV or something like that. But I submitted it last night and it got approved by this morning. I couldn't believe it. They trust me. They trust me. <laughs> uh, and this stuff is called Violene. And it's kind of like, it's really stiff. If you fold it, it'll get creased. Oh God, I've not done this before. Uh, and it looks a bit like cottony. And yeah, I've got ink all over my fingers already. It doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it tastes good. Exactly. So, let's get some watercolours laid down, shall we? Make some nice backgrounds. I'll turn this around a bit. So you can see what I'm actually doing. Like, I just hate how much this curls. It's never flat unless you iron it. And I could not be bothered to iron it before I got on. I'm already late. <laughs> right. Let's say, fuck it. And we'll just go for it with the colours, I think. Because we're just going to be printing in black today. Right. 
you can see my printing inks at the back. They're just block liner printing inks. And my cat wants to get on my knee, but I don't have room for you. I do not have room, Splodgy. I'm busy. So, oh god, it's already kind of red. Whoops. I need to clean my paintbrush a bit more. <laughs> Whoopsie. I mean, Effin, you've never, you said you'd never made it before, so I mean, you, you did a pretty good job to say you've never done it before. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, Effin, the lovely mod here. Uh, there we go. Shouts out to Effin. He is a cooking streamer, and I'm a mod for him, so you'll usually catch me hanging out with him. Um, but tonight he made a deep dish pizza and I think it had like jalapenos on it, uh, all sorts of stuff really. Jalapenos, some, I, pff, I did not remember, I missed the beginning of it because I was at work. But yeah, oh my god, thank you again for the sub effing and Siobhan, you absolute legends. So yeah, this has to be kind of wet when you uh, print onto it. I have no idea why, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it does it does just have to be wet <laughs> and it is kind of pink right now but we can fix that <laughs> I'm already doing an awful job so I think we'll go in with some green first and these are just watercolours these are just uh, standard watercolours. I think they're from WH Smith, yeah. They're tube watercolours, so they um, they come out like as a paste, kind of like, sorry I can't even see my face, they're kind of like acrylics in texture, because uh, most watercolours usually come as, uh, oh, what do you call it, they come as like a little block of uh, dry material. I can't, you can't sit on my lap right now. I'm sorry, darling. It's because of magic, exactly. It is magic. So, that's kind of a dark green, but it looks kind of blue on the uh, sensor. So I'll put some pictures in the Discord when I'm done. Oh, look, you can see Splodgy next to me. <laughs> you can't get on my lap. I'm busy. You beached on the surfer, oh my god. I can imagine. There was a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of pizza there. It's bludgy. It's <laughs> bludgy what in the way. You just wanna see everyone, don't you? You just wanna say hello. Oh, this is quite a dark, strange green. Oh whoops. Oh no. A bit too much on here there we go it comes off see with the backgrounds i'm not being too picky because this whole year is kind of about experimenting i have two cats this is splodgy and the other one you saw before is called sweep but yeah we're basically just experimenting this unit is ungraded you just get capped at a pass really so whatever i do as long as i do the work i get a pass so I just think it'd be nice to really not give a shit about what I'm doing. And that sounds bad, but just kind of go in and mess around and hope for the best. And then also teach people that it's, art isn't just about, you know, making Renaissance looking paintings, you know, like art can look like absolutely anything. Absolutely fucking anything. You know, you can make things, you can paint things, you can just fucking do what you want. As long as you can draw basic shapes or um, not even, you, you just, not even just basic shapes, just anything. Like if you can draw squiggles, lines, like repeating lines, just anything that you want, you could make it into something that you'd want to put on your wall 
and someone will be like, oh wow, where'd you get that from, you know? So, there's one done. Not giving a shit is ace, always the best way. It is. It really is. Some of the best stuff you will do in life will come if you don't give a shit. <laughs> So I'll leave that to dry for a second. Uh, maybe I've got like my fan on the go so we can dry things quicker. The last lodge. Try and dry the desk as well. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we're going to do an example on calico and an example on the violin. Now calico is a lot easier to paint on too. It, um, it's a lot quicker to paint onto as well. Uh, what should we do for this one? I think we'll go see if we can get a light purple going. We'll get a light purple. I should really have something to mix my paint on actually. That would be useful. I'll get a bit of paper just so I can dot it down. So I'm not just shoving it straight onto. Yeah, I, I went onto this course that I'm doing thinking, oh god, I can draw but I'm not amazing at it and I'd hoped that it wasn't all going to be drawing based and it isn't. It's actually more about just learning techniques and finding ways to make art that I'm not typical at all, which I think I showed you guys last night. I think most of you were there. Effin wasn't, but that's fine. Effin... Effin's art is his cooking. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can print through anything. You can... Uh, one method you can use is... You can uh, attach freezer paper onto the back of this fabric and put it for a printer. And as long as you get rid of these frayed edges, um, it won't get bitten by the printer and it won't, because uh, you know printers have a, a tendency to get clogged easily, don't they? <laughs> so it doesn't chew it up and you can just print with printer ink onto some fabric and then you can paint it after, you can stitch into it, you can do absolutely anything you want and you can think of which I think is pretty cool because most people think oh printing onto fabric like unless you want to wear it if you want to wear it it can be quite complicated but if you just want to make something that you want to put on your wall um, you can yeah if you've got an A3 printer you can do A3 you can take it I'm sure there's people out there who will let you use that A3 printer to put some fabric through but as long as it's A4 or A5 uh, and you have your own printer or access to one it's a really easy way to just make something I think I have an example actually, let me see if I can find it it might not be in my bag oh here it is yeah so this was done just by printing printer ink onto this fabric so you peel the freezer paper off the back afterwards uh, I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm thinking of all the black little details. I'm going to stitch into them and make that into uh, details on it, basically. This, this art music is is intense. <laughs> I'm using uh, Jazza's art list, uh, art playlist on Epidemic Sounds, and I don't know if you know who Jazza is, but he's a good artist. He's a YouTuber as well, and he does really good tutorials on how to how to basically just create anything. So if you need to know about making embroidery patches or um, just anything, like printing onto t-shirts, tie-dyes, like he 
Primary, like he makes big art boxes that are quite expensive so most of the stuff you could pick up a bit cheaper elsewhere like Amazon or Hobbycraft if you have Hobbycraft WH uh, Smith even, even has their own cheap line of things um, so if you're not actually too bothered about what you get you can really you can do anything but yeah he has lots of good art tutorials and just ways around uh, having to get really professional equipment because you don't need it you really don't need it at all to do something like that like I like watching craft videos you know there's crappy videos that will come up on YouTube about like um, YouTube or, or like Facebook and Instagram where it's like five minute crafts they're never five minutes and I'm never gonna say that art takes five minutes but <laughs> But usually, art takes less supplies, do you know? But you could really get cheap, cheap, cheap things and just mess around, really. Uh, like these watercolours I'm using right now, they are WH Smith as well. Um, I think they cost about £5 and you get like 30 or 40 of them. Absolutely loads of them. Yeah, Epidemic Sounds is great. I didn't think it'd actually be that good, but I saw you using it and I saw Pep using it. Um, and of course I had to support Effin and use his referral link, because Pep, Pep's a big idiot. <laughs> I would rather give that to Effin. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I mean, obviously this is quite, what I'm doing now takes a little bit more money because you have to buy liner printing ink uh, you have to buy liner as well which I've already prepared I've not done this on stream uh, and you have to buy well that's about it and a bit of fabric but you can use any fabric <laughs> I'm telling him do it he knows he knows he's the biggest idiot if you've watched a Roscoe stream Roscoe has a whole song about how Pep is the biggest idiot. <laughs> so. so there we have two backgrounds. Uh, I'm going to quickly make a third, actually, for the last one. If anyone's got their favourite colour combos, let me know and I will do yours. In fact, I'll give you a second to do that. Because I think that'll be cool if we get a streamer picked. Combo, combo, combo of color, colors, color of combos. I'm going mad already, clearly. Oh my god, I look awful in this webcam, but like, <laughs> just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm using the good camera. Oh, the cat's going crazy. Anyone got a preferred combo of colours? Hmm? It's for me. Just in case. We possibly have a game of Among Us after this as well. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure if I will be. Uh, if there'll be a space. But I've put myself down just in case. No one's come up with a combo colour because I'm just going to go for it. Hmm. Red. Red, I think. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, it's fine. I'll just I'll just put it out there. I just put it out there for you lot. And we'll do some stripes, I think. Some fat stripes. Some fat stripes. Red and yellows, okay. Uh, I don't have orange, but that's the good thing about Oh, it's not, it's back, it's back. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the Leo, I could hear but couldn't type, that's fine. That's completely fine. Did you have a nice shit? Did you wash your hands? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> straight line. Of course. <laughs> you, you say that I feel like it's a given but I don't think it is. I think it had to be asked. <laughs> Just a wee thanks. I don't believe you. Sorry but... I do not believe that for one second. Fat lines. Fat yummy lines. I think this will be the one that I print onto last with all the different blocks. I think that'll be pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Do a bit more of geometric, geometric, geometric. There we go. Do a bit more geometric stuff in my work. Because uh, I just think that, um, although my style isn't exactly, you know, cutesy, and um, like I'm going to be printing leaves. You know, which is usually quite a, in art, is usually regarded as quite a uh, naturalistic thing to paint or to print. Um, so it usually becomes quite. I don't know how what the word is. Yeah, autumn leaves kind of thing. Like, like Kate's. I don't know if you've seen Kate's work, but <laughs> pickles. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> Um, Kate's work is really, really cute, really cute, and I absolutely love it, absolutely fucking love it, and it's not a choice for me that everything looks less cute, but I do just like the contrast between um, funky, funky little backgrounds, and uh, yeah, Kate's work is ridiculous. I've just bought the autumn leaves and mushrooms print. So that'll be coming soon. I realised when I sing along it's actually out of time as well on the VOD. So we're going to stop singing along to Mambo number 5. <laughs> Thanks for that, Jamie. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's not exactly square, but some of the, yeah, some of the best things I've made, at least digitally after I've painted them, like I messed around with them digitally, have been using uh, geometric shapes. Uh, so I think I think it's on my Instagram. If I don't know if you can scroll down my page or look at the about section, but there is a good example of it on there. Uh, it's like it, the picture looks like space. It looks like space, but it was made with just some brush strokes, um, some little geometric shapes, 
and then all I did after that was digitally manipulate it, so yes. We stand. But yeah, Kate, Kate stuff is just, it's a completely different type of art, let's just say that. Like, to what I'm doing right now, what Kate does is completely fucking different. <laughs> In fact, I'll shout her out. I don't know if you follow her yet, Jamie. Because if not, you should. She's great. And she is an absolute legend. Absolute legend. That should make it a bit orange, this one. Yes, my pretty. Ooh, inching closer and closer to the Dishonor stream. I cannot wait. I bet your art would be extra random while drunk. It probably fucking would be. It would be an absolute mess and I'm here for it. So hopefully, well, do you know what? If that, if you redeem it and ask for it to be an art stream, I'll do it as an art stream. Oh, that's bad. This is bad. We'll ignore it. Shouldn't have done that. You want to see this? So yeah, if it does, uh, um, if you do redeem it and say that is what you want, I will do that. But you want to find out what a donk is. Well, Jamie should be close to putting a donk on it. And I'll have to make sure everything's set up for putting a donk on it as well. Actually, we'll do that. No, it's, someone will redeem it soon. I think Jamie should be very close to putting a donk on it. We all love instant gratification, let's just be honest. That is what society is built off. And it's what we love in this world. In this capitalist capitalist era of humans. We want it and we want it now. Oh hello again, Splodge. Ah there he goes, mate, there he goes. Right. I'll make sure everything's set up for it. Oh, but it's gonna be on my shitty webcam. No, no worries. It'll be on my shitty webcam. That's what we'll have to do it on. <laughs> okay, we'll pause this. Oh, that should not be on that. Change this to this. Oh, this is awful. This looks so bad. <laughs> this is so fucking ugly. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing. Welcome Raiders, thank you so much for the raid, but uh, Octa Rob. <laughs> thank you so much. Because I'm about to do put a donk on it. So Raiders, you'll hopefully enjoy this. If not, oh, thank you HDP1 for the follow. Here we go. I've got to get the audio up. Uh. <laughs> oh no. I'm aware that the webcam uh, quality is not the greatest right now as well. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, this is what I want. This is what I would like. Okay. Right, I need to make sure this is all set up properly. I was not expecting this. Oh. <laughs> ah, what is that? Oh, mate. <laughs> Why is this not... Why is this frozen like this? This is disgusting. 
Why is this doing this? Ah! Right, deactivate, activate. There we go. Okay. Okay. Right, make sure that's turned up. No, why is this happening? All right. Oh, fuck, why is this happening? We'll just do it, we'll just do it. Yeah, yeah, it's sick, that. Yeah, that's good. Wait, hold on a minute, pull it off, stop. You know what you want to do with that, right? You want to put a banging donk on it. Yeah, 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 that's sick, that is sick. I can definitely drop to that one. All we need now is like a hook line. You know what, I've got actually the perfect one. Baseline! Oh, wicked! Now put a donk on it. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> Usually I switch back to my face to put a donk in it, but it's just not working. Fucking awful. Usually I can do the scene transitions. usually on that <laughs> right can I get, let's get back to the art yeah let's put the nice camera back on oh god <laughs> everything's broken uh this one this one there we go this one there we go <laughs> i apologize thank you so much for the rare dr rob Thanks so much for bringing everyone in when it was all fucking broken. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, usually I can transition between the scenes. I think it's because I'm using the good camera here for once. I can usually transition between the scenes so that like it zooms for the put a dog on it bit. But no, the gods did not smile upon us today. That is for sure. All right, let's get this music back on. Make sure it's not too loud. There we go. <laughs> it does need to be shared, but it, it just... Not at that moment, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, to Rob, were you doing your... um? He's probably gone. He's probably gone, but someone tell me, was he doing his uh, Christmas... His Jingle Bells contest again. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, Otto Rob is running a competition at the moment. Or I say competition, I don't know if it's a prize, I can't remember. Where... Yeah, he was. Okay, okay. <laughs> Where he's, uh, he's doing remixes of Jingle Bells and all you have to do to enter is just make a new version of Jingle Bells. So it could be anything. I did one yesterday. It was only two seconds long, but I did it. <laughs> I did it, so pat myself on the back. <laughs> but obviously you don't even have to be good at music or anything like that to, to join or enter it. Just make just make a little version of Jingle Bells. Uh, I think you can do it based on the lyrics or on the uh, a little like chord structure in Jingle Bells. I say chord structure, but like that really like there is a chord structure, but <laughs> you know, you could do it based on anything. It can be as loose or as accurate as you want. Um, yeah. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. <laughs> you probably thought, oh, we'll, we'll take everyone to an art stream. I've not seen Emily do an art stream before. This is her first one. And there, uh, and this was what you and um, po poor unfortunate people came into. <laughs> to be fair though, it'll have given my other backgrounds uh, for this lino print that I'm about to do a chance to dry a bit, so that'll be good. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> my old brain explain lino printing again. Well, Dave, thanks for the prompt. Lino printing, uh, there is a few different techniques for lino printing. One of them is basically this, which is where you carve out bits of uh, this slab of liner and then you carefully cut around the edges and it just basically makes a stamp. Everyone's seen stamps before, everyone knows what stamps look like. Uh, it'll make a stamp. So you can carve around the edges or you can carve this bit out and leave the edges raised um, and it'll you know, either do the edges or the inside of the print. Um, so another type is you could get three of these, carve out the same picture on each one, but take away, like on the first one, have most of the lino still there. So say this, uh, on the first one, we would want the outline. Uh, we would want some of the, most of the block color. So it's like a base for the print. Then on the second one, we'd take away the base and we'd maybe keep these circles in, you know, we'd cut the circles in. Uh, and then on the third one, it'd be any little extra detail you wanted to put on it. And you'd just print that on top. But you can also do the same thing with one piece of liner, but you cut it out as you go, basically. Uh, they have names for these techniques. I don't remember them. The music stopped, so now I should find some more. Yeah, uh, should find some more, some more chill music. This will do. And my cat's come to say hello. So yeah, we're, uh, for the first two prints, we're just gonna use this without cutting them out, just to print onto the backgrounds and see how that looks. And for the last print, I'm gonna cut out a couple of these shapes and we're gonna make just a different print with it and we're using black ink today as well so let's see if all these other ones are dry enough 
Oh, where's the other one gone? It's fallen down next to me. Oh, nice. Woodblock prints. I've not really seen... Um, I've not really seen any art streamers other than Kate, to be fair. Oh, and Joff. Obviously Joff. That's a fucking given. Ah, the double cam setup. I know, mate. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> How are you doing, Gastro? Are you playing Among Us later? I was hoping to try and get in if there's a space, but it seems like we're actually pretty full up today. My pussycat is here to say hello. Oh, I've just realised I'm in my work shirt as well. <laughs> it will be first come, first serve, and to be fair, I'm usually pretty quick on the draw. Oh, I've just realised I should check how loud sound alerts are. I'll give you a shout when it's going live. Thank you. I might still be doing this, sir, to be fair, so we'll see. Sweepy, in the way. Ouchie. You can't go over there. Go on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wish you could have seen that. Right. Uh, so this is pretty dry, but not dry enough. So I'm going to put it on the floor with my heater for a couple of minutes whilst I get the ink ready for the liner. Uh, so let's... No, I'll unplug my laptop for a minute. That'll be fine, she says. Probably won't be fine, but I'm gonna say it is. And now I don't know where my hair is, oh, it's here. Sorry, you just have to look at my hair for a second and my legs. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry if it's loud. It is kind of loud. I hear, but we must we must make the sacrifice in the name of art. All right. So to prepare our ink for printing, we must get our coveted ink board. Now this is just kind of like a whiteboard, but it's a bit more matte. I think, oh no, it's shiny on one side as well. I think you're supposed to use the shiny side. So it's just like a little whiteboard. Um, oh! Beep beep, two months! Thank you so much, Pep. That is very nice of you. How are you doing, mate? Fucking... I'm feeling the love today, honestly. I'm feeling... Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? I am not bad. Good, good. I'm good, mate. I thought I'd finally do some art on stream. It's the resident good guy. Do you mean the biggest idiot? Because Pep really is the biggest idiot. In fact, Pep, we were talking about you. I did say you were the biggest idiot. And someone said they were going to tell on me. And I said, do it. Fucking do it. Oh, is she actually Jamie? <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, so I'm just prepping the ink while this uh, piece of fabric here dries so that we can print on it. I'm going to print some cool shit. And we've got some epidemic sounds and I'm sorry, Pep. Fingers bleeding. I'm sorry, Pep, but I didn't use your referral. I used... Uh, I used Effins. I'm going to start in now, but I'd assume you'd actually like to start your art. That's fine. That's fine, Gastro. I will... I'm sure there'll be a space at some point. So I'll have a look. You don't even know what it does. I think it gives you like an extra month for free or something like that. I don't know. Something. I think this should just be dry enough now as well. So that's good. I'll let them know you're after a spot at some time. At some point, I'll leave the lurk on. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gastro. You don't have to, though. It's fine. I'm a big girl. Oh, you got an extra month. Cool. <laughs> I've got to allow that. Oh, can Effin do it? No, Effin's probably having a shit again. I'll <laughs> just do it. I'm not, I'm not in a game. I might as well do it for him. Do his job for him. 
so yeah this ink is just block liner printing ink you can't really see it but that's what it's called and what you do is you squeeze a big jobby of it across the top of your board like that She's got the cheek for a lot of things, Jamie. We already know this. You take your trusty roller and you dip it in a bit. And then what you do, oh, it's squeaking, I'm sorry, is you give it a good roll out. So you can see at the moment how it's quite shiny. We don't want that. We need it to be quite uh, matte looking. So you roll it out, left and right, up and down in a big square. until it's matte looking and it'll start to make a sound a bit like you know when you get paint in your walls it'll start to sound like that and that's how you know it's good so yeah it's still a bit shiny i think i put a bit too much on but that should be fine because we can just drag it out a bit more Yeah, still a bit too shiny. What a pain. I'm sorry if you don't like the noise of this. I cannot help it. <laughs> now do you know what? That should be good actually. Yeah. So, I'm going to move it to one side a bit. Where's my fucking lino gone? Oh no, I've lost my lino. <laughs> I don't know where I've put it. Oh, it's here. <laughs> Fucking hell. So you load your ink up off to the side. Oh, I'm going to put this in the frame a bit more. And then you lightly roll over your print. And it'll load up the liner with the uh, ink. So some tips for when, like, if you ever actually do uh, want to lino cut yourself, what you have to make sure is that you uh, you cut deep enough. So you want to cut at least halfway down into the liner to get a good grip of, uh, you know, like block in between. As you can see, like all of the lines here so far are staying grey, and that's what you need to get a really good print because otherwise it will leak into the uh, cracks of your print, and you don't really want that because you want the cleanest print you can get uh, when you actually apply it. Unless you don't, unless that's what you're looking for, and if that is what you're looking for, then that's perfect. You know, you can make it as rough as you want. But if you're looking to make something that's really clean cut, it's always best to make the lines as deep as you can, even if you're looking for some really uh, detailed lines. So if you really want detail, you have to get um, a very, like a, you get liner cutters that are all different whips, whips basically. Uh, and if you want some more detail in it, you just have to get a small size one. It's easy as that. It's just like with pens and paintbrushes, if you need something a bit more detailed, you just got to make sure that you get a thinner width. Easy as that. And then once it's all covered, comes the magic. The magic's going to happen now. Like, I have a feeling this is not going to work very well because when I was watching everyone do it yesterday in class, I was catching up basically to everyone because I've been doing some different work. But everyone's in classes was bleeding a little bit and going a bit fuzzy. But I think my... Oh God, here we go, the positioning. I think my... Uh... <sighs> 
God, what's the word? Fabric. There we go. I think my fabric is, um, you know, what's the fucking word, man? Damp enough. There we go. Damp. Because you want it to be a little bit damp, so it takes the ink better. Hello, Orange Matcher. How are you doing, hun? So usually, so rollers, always store your rollers this way up. Moist. Yes, moist. Well done. <laughs> usually you use a different clean roller to roll over your print to make sure that it goes, you know, it prints properly. But I didn't take one home. <laughs> I didn't take one home. So, oh, this could work. So we're going to use some links to roll over the print and make sure that it's all in there. You see that? Sponsor me, links. I'm using you for art. <laughs> Moist. I've got ink all over it, but that's fine. It's only deodorant. So you want to make sure that it's nice and pressed in. Hello, Boggling. How are you doing? <laughs> Right, I'm not convinced this is going to be good, so I'm going to roll over it a couple more times. But from above, so that I can feel how hard I'm pressing. Oh, pure damp, yep. Done from above, exactly. <laughs> Dirty buggers. Right, ready for the reveal? I'm not. Oh, fuck. Jesus, it's not good enough. I don't think I put enough ink on. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> fuck. Not enough. Do I, do I dare try and line it up and do it again? Of course I do, because I'm a fucking badass. Pretend you mean it. Mean what? Very fashionable. It's just, it's not printed enough. I like how gritty it is. Because she's a maverick. I'm a fucking maverick. Don't you bloody know it. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to try it again. You shouldn't really do this. Because if you do want to do this, you have to create a, uh, a guide. Which is like a wood, uh, you can use wood or you can use cardboard to make um, a guide for your print to fit in. But I think if I can line it up with this corner, it should be okay. Line up the lino in that corner and it should be right. Hopefully I can fix this. I do like it, but it, I just want the lines a little bit clearer. Do you know what I mean? But this is what I mean, simple, simple designs. Just a little bit of a coloured background, you can make some really, really cool stuff. Like, all you need is a surface to put your ink on and a roller. And that's it. That's it, mate. And like I say, uh, lino inks work on pretty much all fabrics. I think the more man-made the better so that it doesn't bleed. But yeah. Oh god. Right, what do we think? Do we think this one's gonna work better? I bloody well hope so. Right, I'm gonna have to pull this forward a bit just so I can get it on properly. Uh, and if you want the best placement with paper or with prints or anything, always hold it at both corners. God, this is not going to be good. I think... Oh. I think that is pretty much in the same place. 
And we gotta hope for the best now. <laughs> oh, why has that gone off? Oh, I stood on it and turned it off. <laughs> I just stood on my ring light, that's fine. Right, let's hope for the fucking best, shall we, lads? This one, this one better look good. Otherwise, I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue college. It's looking better than everyone else's did, though, and I'm not saying that because it looks better. Like, most people's printed and bled, but mine just didn't have enough ink on, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying my work's better than everyone else's. Like, there's some really fucking good artists in my class and they give me anxiety. <laughs> Please work. Second reveal. Second reveal, here we go. That is a bit better. Much better. I think what I'll do is digitally edit it so that it's a bit more dark. So, whoops. Can't even fucking see it properly. Cause it's a bit, it's not as dark at the top, but down the bottom looks much cooler. <laughs> right, background number two, which is a different fabric. So who knows what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna have to dry it a quick bit first, like last time. Uh, but yeah, I think that looks good. I think I will redo that. at some point because like I say I'm only doing three of these on stream today but I think I will use that colour scheme again because I quite like that gives me spooky vibes oh whoops got some paint on my trousers don't know where that paint is oh I was going to say I don't know where that came from but it came from this <laughs> I just dribbled paint on myself <laughs> Let's, no, let's not put that there, let's move it. <laughs> it's just a distressed look. Yeah, exactly. It does look very distressed. I do like that. I've got a very distressed look right now as well. <laughs> Dribbly, exactly. Dribbling paint all over myself. Uh, in a minute, we'll take a break for like two minutes whilst I clean off the print so that I can come back and cut it up uh, and then we'll do one more print and then maybe there'll be a space in Among Us, who knows? If not, I'll probably just end up playing it off stream but at least I can say that I've done some of my work <laughs> at least I can say I've done some college work tonight <laughs> Almost dry enough to print onto. This is some lovely music, isn't it? Just enjoy the tunes. This is uh, Mini Small on Epidemic Sounds, if anyone's interested. Oh, I fucked it! I fucked it! Was this the one? Was this the one? No. It was this one. 
Okay, well, I'll we'll have to skip through it now, but whoopsie. <laughs> I fucked it, like usual. Okay, how damp does this feel without putting loads of paint off my hands on it? Bit drier. <laughs> how is everyone doing anyway? How are you boggling me? How are you, Orange Matcha? You're good. Good. You had much work to do today, mate? I hurt my arms carrying heavy boxes for 30 minutes in the cold. That sounds like me all the time. All the fucking time. <laughs> all I do is hurt myself doing menial tasks. I'm surprised I haven't done it on stream right now. <laughs> that kind of links his 25 year old, that's why it's gone white. No, he's not 25 years old. No, I've got more links here as well. <laughs> I'm a Lynx girl. <laughs> I also have a Beyonce heat perfume next to me that I get to clear off my desk to do some work. <laughs> See, that one's fresh, yeah, exactly. No, of course I had to get the special edition of Lynx. Could I not? How could I not get the special links? Someone tell me, because I just have to. You'd have done the same if you were me. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone buying links out with a Christmas gift set. It's a first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this actually was a Christmas gift set, this black one. But this one, I wanted some actual deodorant and like. They started doing natural deodorant, so I thought, yeah, I'll get that. That's targeted at me. Okay. Let's get... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Right, let's get some... We'll have to get this loaded with ink this time. As much as we can. I think I got it wrong, and... You need less ink for when you're doing a a process called monoprinting, which is where you get that calico fabric that I was showing you before, the thing we just printed on then. You get calico fabric and you, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry if it's loud. <laughs> uh, and you have to place your fabric on top of this, this block here, and use a pencil on the back of it, or something hard, to print with. Does Is it actually a nice sound though, or is it bad? At least it's not squeaking anymore. Some inks got trapped in this bit here. Oh shit. We got some ink trappage in here. But it's fine. Who cares? Not me. Hee <laughs> hee. That's fine. Now this is the hard part because, yeah, this fabric likes to, uh, it might show in the print depending on how hard I push down, but yeah, this fabric likes to just get in the way and be curly. It curls up, which is annoying. So I'll have to iron these after 
they are done. Look at my sexual rolling. Oh, there's a cat behind me. Look. Lovely. And a towel hanging off my door because I'm classy. It shouldn't show on the print, you're right, because I'm not using like an actual printing press. A printing press would press it hard enough that it comes through. But I don't think I will be able to press that hard. Let me just stand up. Don't look at my body.
Guys. <laughs> Sorry. One is the eat the corn cob butter get the eating. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kate, do you want to see what I've made so far? I love you too. Did you see I've put in an order? Mwah, mwah, mwah. I've ordered some of your lovely, lovely mwah, mwah. Ah, to mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm very excited for it. So, we've done this, which didn't work too well. So we're printing onto violin and we're printing onto calico. But this one I think looks really cool. Right, let's read the triangle. Are oh, you going to thank me? It's, don't thank me, thank you. Thank you for your lovely, beautiful art, Kate. <laughs> I really like it too. And although it's a bit imperfect, I'm going to go on Photoshop at some point, change it around a bit, make it look a bit nicer. A bit more complete and finished. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut around some of these. And I was thinking I'm going to do another stream of this actually. It'll be a quicker one at some point where we use two colours of ink. I'll get the fucking links out of the way. <laughs> two colours of ink. Because what you can do is you can, because I'll be cutting around this, you can use the back of it as the shape. And you can print the shape on the back. Block shape and then put the details on the front so in a different color you can go over the top of it which is pretty cool and looks pretty nice in some instances i don't have any examples of this yet but it'll be cool so we're gonna get cutting turn it around a bit so i can actually see what i'm doing Ooh, smart apparently lino is an absolute pain to cut as well so we'll probably only be doing two Oh god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on camera. Wait, maybe if I like point this at my lap. Hi, <laughs> my legs. <laughs> but hello. <laughs> you just see my McDonald's cups in the background. You have a scar from Lino, please be careful. I poked my finger right in here with a Lino cutter last time I was doing it. Oh god. I'm just exposing my messy room right now, hang on. <laughs> Move this out of the way. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Move this where the cats aren't going to stand on it. Because they have a tendency to do that. But yeah, it's fucked when you cut yourself with a liner. And we can be failed on health and safety in my course. So, like, if I'd told someone that I'd cut myself, they probably would have failed me. I don't think this is going to work very well. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't use uh, everything properly to the point where you hurt yourself with it, you can get fucked. Which is ridiculous. It is harsh, but... They introduced it not that long ago. I don't know if you have to do it as well, Kate. But you have to make sure that everything that yeah, everything that you do. No, you don't need to at all. Like, if we don't include health and safety in our sketchbooks, that fails us as well, which is ridiculous. So if you don't say, oh, I used a cutting mat with my uh, scalpel and made sure that everything was, you know, perfect, they, they will fail me. This one might be a bit too difficult to cut out right now, to be fair. It might take a while. Maybe I should just do some small leaves for now. Yeah, I'll just do the smaller one. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got the epidemic sounds on today, Kate. I don't know if you have that. Titty, titty streamer, here I go. <laughs> okay, maybe I can put this here. A bit better. That's a bit better. I should have done this before, but my tutor literally said to use the uh, the whole print and do that first. So I did, which is fair enough. I'll just do what she says. I'll be a good student and do what she says. <laughs> I would use it, but I can't have a browser open when I stream. Oh my god, yeah, because your your stream just shits itself when anything happens that's not streaming. I forgot about that. You'll have to get yourself a second monitor for cheap. My internet gets shagged. It's a fucking scam. I really shouldn't be smirking and cutting, but... We as badass is here. Kate, did you see the tattoo I did on myself? I think you did. I love it. It's really scabby right now. Smoking and cutting health and safety fell. Oh my god, yeah, please. Please don't tell them how I live. <laughs> right. Get this fucking done, mate. This is so hard to do. Maybe my other scissors would be better. And the back here still. It was good for a first time. And uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I don't know if anyone, if anyone hasn't seen it, I'll get it out. There it is. It's not focusing, but... <laughs> Can you focus, please? There we go. Yeah, it's healing at the moment. So it's a bit... <laughs> no, I have shoes on. <laughs> I have shoes on and now I've lost my scissors. Oh, they're here. <laughs> I have shoes on. I'm good. We don't want any accidental feet on the stream. That's reserved for Limi's Discord. Sorry. There we go. It's caught up now. That was reserved for you guys' eyes only. <laughs> you are the tallest, Kate. You literally are the fucking tallest. No feet, please. Oh yeah, I forgot I sent it to basically everyone, didn't I? I put it in the Discord, I forgot. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Effin, is this your channel or is this mine? I'll get my feet out if I want to. Some things cannot be unseen. Do you know, I have to live with these feet, guys. I have to live with these feet. You're not very nice about them. I have to live with my finger toes. <laughs> Trial version. Trial version. Right. There's one done. Just cut the rough edges off. Get it a bit more accurate. Oh, has the music ended again? I think it has. Get some more then. Bear with. Mm. This this looks promising. Yeah, this is promising. Mm. 
If I'm, if I'm missing any me messages, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get this done. <laughs> she my white her. Fair enough. <laughs> the playlists are all quite short. That's the only downside. That's true. I think it's just like just short albums, most of them. So there's one. Nice little leaf. And we'll get this one done too. So it looks a bit janky, but. She my white ho. Oh, I don't think I told you guys this. I think I told it. Orange Marcher knows this because I told it in the Discord the other day. But I did a tattoo on my ex-boyfriend the other day. Not the ex you're thinking about. Not the awful cunty one. Like an ex I had from when I was like 16. Because he's been tattooed by, um, by four of his other ex-girlfriends. So he was like, yeah, let's make it five. And I was like, okay, fair enough. I'll do that. <laughs> because that's my life in a nutshell. That is my life in a nutshell. If someone asks me to do something weird like that, I will happily oblige. But it's fun. We sat and listened to Death Grips. I did the tattoos and they didn't look too bad. So I got to practice on someone else. Like I've had a couple friends ask me if I can do it for them. And I just, I don't want to do it because I don't want to fuck it up on someone who I like who I know that well, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's me, Kate. That's me. All I do is make good choices. <laughs> it is lots of pressure, but like for someone like that, it's like, well, if he's had four of our exes do it, Obviously, they did it when they were with him, though. Like, I didn't tattoo. I didn't tattoo when I was 16. <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I love that kind of energy. You all know you'd have done the same if it was someone who wasn't a complete asshole to go out with. Like, we mutually broke up, you know, it wasn't just... <laughs> It wasn't messy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But now I feel a bit more confident about if anyone did ask me to do it for them. It's, just, it's the same song again. Yep, yeah, it's the same song again, but the instrumental. It's like a sequel to Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Is that something from Scott Pilgrim? I've seen the film, but I don't remember it. God, this is hard to cut out. I'm definitely going to chop my fingers off on stream. You must get tattooed by all your ex-girlfriends. <laughs> he says he's got one more to do, so... I mean, good on him. But he says he doesn't know if she'd do it for him. It's like, well, pff, what a loser then, clearly. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to do something so stupid? So that one's basically done as well. Oops. Do you know what? I think I'll I think I'll have a crack at a big leaf. We'll do this one here because it's not it's not got too many weird edges on it. 
I'd watch that. I should have streamed it. I should have streamed me doing uh, his tattoo, actually. That would have been fun. Like, we obviously, we didn't do anything dodgy. I mean, even if we did, you know, that's my business. <laughs> but, like, I would have loved that so much. Just like, hi, guys, this is my ex-boyfriend. Want to watch me tattoo him? <laughs> that is the energy I bring to my life. <laughs> No judgment. <laughs> he could have done a and a as well on how much of a crazy bitch, crazy bitch I am. Although, not like anyone needs reminding of that. Oh shit, I need to plug my fucking laptop back in. I forgot to do that, I knew that would happen. Oh fuck. <laughs> we didn't fuck it up but now I don't know where the leaf's gone oh it's here it's on my leg <laughs> god why do I always do such stupid things like that lovely pretty music yeah this is a lot quicker now now that I've like cut it out properly first away from the big block this is a lot easier to get done get her done so yeah in a minute i will print these This is so difficult. Ah, Jesus, that hurts. I have no hands left after this, honestly. I don't know how expensive Lino cut, like Lino, sorry, Lino is to buy. Does anyone have any idea, like? How much it would be to get your own liner i don't know if anyone's ever looked into it really uh, and obviously you can get quite cheap cutters anyway you can get cheap cutters and you can get expensive ones it's spenny ew you gross <laughs> yeah i'm sure maybe, maybe you could do it with floor tiles there's another type of printing you can do um, and it uses these little plastic, these little plastic pieces. And what you do is you use like, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus, there we go. You use, um, like something sharp like the edge of scissors or a nail end uh, just anything with a sharp scratchy edge to etch uh, your image onto it uh, and then you i think there's like special etching ink it's called like etching the printing uh, you get that you wipe it all on and then you wipe it off in like circular motions with something called a scrim uh, so it might be a bit cheaper just to buy a scrim and you can just use whatever tool you want to etch it in and then all you do after that is get a little bit of tissue paper and wipe the excess off uh, put it down and then really what you have to do is roll it very heavily so you'd have to get a proper rolling pin 
and really heavily pass it over quite a few times. Um, I don't have any examples of that with me right now, but <laughs> I'll put some in my Discord at some point and we'll have, I'll show you some pictures of other stuff I've made. Like, I wish I could post the cheese grater I did with liner in here, but I don't have that with me either. Most of my stuff's at college, ready to be graded. But there we go. So now we've got little stamps, basically. Three of them. Ready to print. Now I just want to cut the other three out, but I feel like it would just, it would take too long. Uh, first results, 10 sheets for 17 pounds. That is actually not too bad. I mean, it's expensive if you're not gonna use all the sheets. But it's not too bad for something to just get into, really. Right, let's get all this back on here. Get the watercolours out of the way and the bits of liner. Uh, and we'll put some more ink down. So remember, all you have to do is get some lino ink and squirt a big turd of it at the top. And then use your roller to just roll it out into a nice even surface so you can pick it up and put it onto your stamps or liner prints or whatever you want to call them. But the, the type of liner I'm creating today is basically just a stamp. So a squeaking, squeaky liner roller. Big turn of it, technical turn. Yes. Well, we're not being technical today because you know we want we want to encourage the creativeness in you all. We want you all to live the dream, as the I say, and just go out and do what your heart desires. <laughs> oh, I've lost the other leaf. Let's see. It's hiding. No, that's not it. <sighs> Fuck, where is the other leaf gone? <laughs> oh, oh, it's underneath the big one. <laughs> oh dear, right. So, here's our last, for today, last piece that we're gonna print onto. Uh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this, but maybe I could put this kind of in the middle and then just scatter some leaves around it. That would be cool. So like I said, we're just experimenting here. We're not being too uh, worried about our placement of everything because every time we do a new technique in art, we, um, we do this. We just see how it all works first and then after we've got a good idea of how everything's going to look when it's applied, we make actual pieces with it. So, got a nice even coating of the ink on here. And we're just going to put it like the other ones. Place it carefully onto there. Pick some more ink up. Sorry if you don't like the noise. Everyone doesn't seem to mind it, but I don't think you've been here for the printing yet, Kate. <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like on stream. Uh, let's just place up there. You love the noise. I'll just, I'll make a, a 10 hour version of this. So you can sleep to it. Like Lanky in his hairdryer sounds. Just put that there. Do not with that man. <laughs> so, 
I'm gonna stand up again for this, so uh, have a good time looking at my booty while I just roll the ink into into the uh, fabric. Again, the, the fabric we're using for this particular one is calico, but we've also been using violin, and I think violin is quite expensive, but calico is very cheap. But you can use any man-made material that you have at home. So I don't really know what man-made materials are, but you can Google them. <laughs> I just know that these are the ones we use the most at college. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. And if it's even going to be good, but we we can hope. Just move that over there. No, I think I'll just do these with my fingers because they're quite small. Looks so small on the camera. <laughs> All right, let's just make sure everything's pressed on nicely without trying to move it. Ready for the reveal, guys? No cat screams today. No, she's getting done uh, Friday. Oh, that, I think that looks really cool. I'll show you it properly in a second. Whoops. Oh, yes, that's turned out really well. I'll put pic proper pictures of everything in the Discord afterwards because it's a bit um, overexposed right now. Hang on. But in front of me, it looks really cool. Yes. That looks, you can kind of see the colour better now when I do it that way. The wow didn't wow, it did on my... Did it not come up? I could hear it. Our sound alerts isn't on for some time. It did, it did do it perfectly, hang on. For some reason it's not enabled. So yeah, what the fuck? Sound alerts, why aren't you making sound? <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. I'll take a picture and put it in the Discord right after this because it's looking really good. I don't know why that's not bringing audio. I'm sorry, it's not working. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Properties. Uh, nope. I have no fucking idea why that would not be working. Hang on. Should. Nope, still not working. Oh god, what's happened here? That's not the right one, that's why. <laughs> I was like, why isn't that working? It's not the right fucking scene. Okay. Maybe I can turn this around so you can see a bit better whilst I do it. So I'll do a couple more of the smaller leaves like dotted around on here and then I'll take a picture and put it in the Discord afterwards. And then I think that'll be me for today. Unless there's a space on Among Us and then we'll do some quick Among Us. Sorry about the squeak. I hate the squeak. It's so annoying. But 
you can see the difference in outcomes when you actually cut them out and use them as stamps. Like, it looks cool when it's all on a big block, but it also looks really cool when it's on a little stamp. Let's put that one up there. Oops, shouldn't have jumped around. Oh god, has the music stopped again? Shit. <laughs> And then we'll face this one that way a bit. Put the music back on. Ah! <laughs> Shit! What's this? Nice. Nice and chilled. I'll press that in. Oops. And the back of the lino can be quite sticky when you bring your fingers up. It sticks quite a bit. Press it in. Ah, that one didn't print as well as it did before, but this one printed better than it did before. <laughs> it's just the way the cookie crumbles. God. Let's see. Okay, if you said you did it at college, do you have examples of uh, the liner you did before? Hey pal, I need my bed. Lovely wee stream, I enjoyed it. Thank you, Effin. Thank you so much. And you did your job and you're a good lad and now you're gonna sleep that big pizza off. So you enjoy yourself, hun. Thanks for helping. Thanks for being here and stopping in. And thanks for the sub! Much appreciated. Oh, I see, see, back home, that's fine. That's fair enough. Oh, yeah, and Effie, and remember, I've got unlimited 4G now. So, you will never escape me. Now, let's do it Ooh, that way. Oh, you have screen prints. Yes, we're doing some screen printing uh, next week, I think. Or maybe, yeah, next week I'm doing some screen printing. I've got to do some uh, ideas for that. That'll be really cool. Night night, Siobhan. Thank you so much for the sub as well. And thanks for stopping in. Uh, yeah, I'll put everything on Discord. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, Kate, I would love to see the screen printing because we're doing it. We're doing it next week and I've got to, I've got to make four different designs. Four different tracing paper designs to screen print. Uh, but they've all got to be based on this. So a lot of my work features all these leaves in them. Uh, because we were to draw, I think it was like 10, 12 different things. Uh, most of these leaves are taken singularly from pieces that I did um, and then I've simplified them a bit more so that I could uh, do this printing with them but yeah I think we'll put one more little leaf in the top left and then that will be me I'll have a look see if see what everyone's saying for among us but if not Maybe I should just play the off stream anyway. There's still 10 people in. But I know where I can send you anyway. I know where I can send you if not, which would be really cool because it's their birthday. And you can go all say happy birthday to this cool guy. But I think this has been very relaxing. Oh, yours was a leaf as well. Nice, what kind of leaf? 
these are all leaves um i think bar one of them but sorry two of them are not from my plants um but these are all leaves i've drawn based on the plants i have because i was like i've never drawn plants so maybe i should just do that because we're doing natural forms and i thought fuck it i've got plenty of natural forms in my flat yeah, some of them are like pictures from my travels, like out and about. I'll find really cool leaves and weird plants and just take pictures of them. And keep it for stock usually for when I make... you see my Instagram, haven't you? When I make like loads of really weird uh, digital, digitally edited pictures. Um, yeah, I usually use them just to spice it all up a bit. I've really enjoyed this because I thought I'll never do an art stream because all my art is like it takes hours like 12 hours just to do the drag queen portraits but that's not just 12 hours in one sitting that's 12 hours over three months I can be asked to do it because it really takes a lot of effort to get in that mindset uh, and I'm still struggling to get the same result with my drawing tablet pad thing that I've got for my computer now. Uh, I'm struggling to get actual results from it because uh, it's a lot different to draw with my finger. Um, but like I say, I'm still really enjoying it. Like, so I thought, fuck it, I've got line up printing to do. That's something I can do on stream. I'll fucking do it. And then I fucking did. How's about that then? So. You can see the comparison difference between cutting out, let's see if I can get a bit more of a wide, wide angle on this, move this out of the way. There's a comparison between doing a stamp and then cutting out the individual leaves, there's quite a difference, which is nice. But yeah, so, I think we'll turn this off. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I could just put this quickly back on me for a second, if I can sort this out <laughs> this is so zoomed into my face <laughs> right <laughs> um oh my god this is so bad <laughs> i'll sit back a bit uh so thank you yeah thank you so much for sub thanks for stopping in now we're going for a raid and I know who we're raiding. I'll get a stream up ready. Fucking hell. This is way too close to my face. This is way too zoomed in. But we'll deal with it. Uh, turn the music off as well. Got some lovely music from Epidemic Sound. Uh, from various artists on there. Uh, where's his face? Where is his face? Is he even streaming right now? He should be. Oh, I think he changed his picture. No. No. Maybe he's not online? I'm very confused right now. Oh no, he is. He, he's just not coming up on the sidebar. But it's his birthday, everyone. It's his birthday. So everyone's got to go say yeehaw, happy birthday, because he's a cowboy. He's a cowboy guy. Right. Thank you all for stopping in. It's been an absolute pleasure. I've liked. Um, I've really liked this. I've really enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you're not in my Discord and you want to be, Here's the Discord link. <laughs> yes, Orange Matcha, you know where we're going. You know where we're going, hun. 
Yeah, if you're not on my Discord, there's the link. Um, yeah, say, say yee-haw to inform me. And now I've got an emote that none of you can use. Whoops. Oh, well. But thank you all for coming. And thanks for the subs, everyone. Mm.